Hello again, everyone, on this beautiful July 8, 2022 morning in our retirement paradise up here on Pioneer Lake in northern Minnesota. And uh, I had to uh, get a, put in a different memory card to uh, record this second song for today. Hopefully it's going to do the job. Now, in order to, um, to really um, share the full significance of this song for me, I have to give a fairly long introduction. Uh, this song is um, one of Leonard Cohen's um, second generation, I guess, uh, songs. It's, uh, the title of it is Love Itself. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Leonard Cohen is, uh, first of all, he's, he's my all-time uh, singer, spiritual friend, Kali Mitta, as it's called in, in Buddhism. And uh, it turns out that um, Leonard spent five years in a um, Zen monastery in California headed up by the famous, notorious Zen master, Suzaki Roshi. And uh, it turns out also that my uh, main meditation teacher, Shinzen Young, was a translator, main translator for Suzaki Roshi. Suzaki Roshi spoke very little English. And uh, it turns out that um, Leonard Cohen was in residence at the Zen Center there while Shinzen was translating for Suzaki Roshi. And one of the stories that uh, Shinzen tells is Suzaki Roshi in his late years was uh, becoming somewhat senile and uh, he would give the same Dharma talk or Tensho as it's called in Zen over and over and over again and uh, at the end of it he would uh, commonly say, well, I see that some of you still don't quite understand, so let me try to say a little bit more. And then he would give the very same talk again. Okay, well that, uh, that line, a little bit more, plays into this song uh, by Leonard Cohen. So that's, uh, that's the first reason why it's significant to me. But secondly, it turns out that this song which is uh, really a, um, a musical expression of an awakening experience that, that uh, Leonard had. And uh, it's remarkably similar to a, uh, a somewhat different, but I think also very similar awake, awakening experience that I had a few years back. And it came to me completely by surprise. I was not expecting it at all. The day before, I had listened to a, um, a um, recorded talk uh, interview that Ta Tammy Simon of Sounds True had done with a, a man named Neil Douglas Klotz. And Neil was somebody that I had be become familiar with in the uh, somewhere in the 1980s because I I knew that he was working on uh, translating the uh, a number of uh, original Jesus sayings from the Aramaic and um, I don't even remember the content of the interview but uh, I was sufficiently impressed by it that I thought oh, I'm gonna see if uh, maybe he has some YouTube videos I might listen to. So the next morning, I went to YouTube. To my great surprise, I found, I think it was 14 videos that he had posted there just the day before. And I was the very first one to even see any of them. Well, I picked out uh, one of them kind of at random. It was a, um, a choral version of what the, the title was, the the entire prayer. Now this is a, turns out it was a choral version of the original Aramaic Lord's Prayer. And as I started to watch it and listen to it, within the first 30 seconds, I was swept up <laughs> 
in a, uh, as uh, Leonard puts it, in formless circumstance. The way I put it back then was it was like my body turned into light. And for the next um, about 11, 12 minutes that that video ran, I continued to be in a, in a state unlike anything I had ever experienced before. I was sobbing, just tons of tears of joy. <laughs> and uh, the, the tears of joy were because, as Leonard puts it in his song, the, um, the light came through my window. And uh, as a result of that experience, unlike anything I'd ever experienced before or since, I decided right on the right after listening to it, I get it. This is a this is a a prayer that I am called to learn by heart. And so for the next 22 days, I practiced very avidly until I had memorized that entire. Aramaic song, the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic, and since then it has become a part of my daily spiritual practice, or sadhana as it's called in Sanskrit, and uh, it has become increasingly meaningful to me. Now I consider this to be one of many, many instances where my internal guide was uh, putting a hand on my shoulder, tapping me on the shoulder and saying, here is something that you need to pay attention to. So, now with that as a very wordy background, let me do my best to sing this very special song. And I, I can't possibly do it justice, but I'll, I'll do my best. The light came through the window, straight from the sun above, and so inside my little room there plunged streams of light I clearly saw. 
have recently discovered that Leonard Cohen has a uh, karaoke version of uh, this song on YouTube, and I have uh, greatly enjoyed singing it along with him. Um, now Leonard Cohen, as if you happen to have heard my uh, previous rendition of his song, Suzanne, he was somebody who um, I resonated to long before I knew anything about him. didn't even know his name. I just knew that the song Suzanne really, really resonated to me. And so I, um, I regard Leonard, you know, bless his heart, he's now gone, um, to uh, the great beyond. But uh, I, I definitely consider him to be one of my very top-notch spiritual friends. So, there you have it again, folks, and uh, I hope you, uh, you found this a bit enjoyable. And uh, I'll plan to be back again on a, when on the next sunny day or the next uh, circumstance presents itself to uh, record a couple of more songs for you. So in the meantime, take care. I'll see you later. Bye.